I'm actually an Aquarius too. Ooh, I like the light. But yeah, catch you guys soon. Today is what? Thursday. My hair actually needs a retouch, man. I need to re dye it. My dye is going away. It's going away. God, you guys, my face is breaking out so bad. I don't even understand it. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I think I'm reacting to the new product I just bought. I'm going to give it one month. If I use the product constantly for one month and I still feel this way, I guess I'm going to have to go to the skin doctor because like, I've tried my best. Hello, ma. They are disturbing my video. Will you leave my video? Leave yeah. my video. Oh, excuse me. Leave my video. Hi. And I'm here for it. Yes. Look at my skin. Oh, look at the birthday girl. Yeah, today is a birthday. You guys should. Yeah, you should. Me me you guys should sing for me. If not, I'm going to 
We will not upload sweet video for you I guys again on YouTube. Please, 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 please don't come and spoil my market. But today is our birthday. Happy yes. birthday, baby. Thank you. And I wish you subscribe well, I mean, we are so that we have money to go out. No Can you guys hear us? Can you hear? Please. You guys should subscribe, subscribe to my channel. And share. Subscribe to my channel. So that we we'll start earning. my channel. Do you guys yeah. understand? Yeah. Will you leave my video? Can you leave my video? Leave my video. Leave my video. <laughs> Hi, guys. I hope you can hear me. Finally! I'm using my microphone on this app. So I got this Blue Yeti microphone. If you haven't watched my birthday vlog, go and watch it. Even though I did not um, specifically... <clears throat> Excuse me! I wanted to talk to you guys for a bit. Because I haven't spoken... <clears throat> I haven't spoken to you guys since this vlog started yesterday. Yeah. Hey! It's about you. So yesterday I went to um get my hair braided. It's under this it's under this bonnet. Oh my god, I look so so good. I love it. I've been wanting to do this hairstyle for the longest and I'm finally done it. I have finally done it and I'm excited. By the way, today is Friday, guys. What do I have to do today? I don't know. But whatever it is I'm doing, I'm going to show you guys. You guys, I'm actually very sad. I woke up sad this morning because I am coming. Let me adjust my camera. I woke up sad this morning because I, I was sent a mail by YouTube creators for the Africa Day event. The one that happened on Wednesday, that's 25th, I was sent a mail and I ignored it. The fact that I ignored the message and yesterday when I went to get my hair done, my friend among me, she's also a YouTuber, she attended the event yesterday and when I saw her attend, I'm like, and I saw a lot of YouTubers attend as well and I was like, oh, I didn't get an invite for sale. Do you have to get an invite? Do you have to pay, you know? And then she told me, oh, she got a mail. And I said, oh my God, I didn't get one. I felt sad because I'm like, maybe it's because I still have like 100 subscribers and all. And then this morning I woke up and I started going through my mail. Then she told me, oh, she got a mail. And then when she got there, she saw people with 50 subscribers. So it's actually everybody that got the mail once she's a YouTuber. And I'm like, are you for real? Because at, at first I was feeling, oh, I need to, you know, level up my content so I can at least enter 500. Because I feel like once you have 500 and more, you like, you get more chances, you know, to grow and all. And I checked my email and I saw the mail and I was like, oh my God, I actually saw this mail when it was sent to me and I ignored it. And that's just crazy because I just realized I've been negligent of a lot of things. What if it was a brand that texted me and was like, oh, I want to collaborate and stuff. That's how I would have ignore the message i felt so sad because i felt so left out yesterday i was just trying to get by by making my hair and looking pretty and my excuse was oh well at least i have not made my hair i'll have had to wear a wig and i don't want to wear a wig anymore you know just giving myself the excuse not knowing that i actually got invited and now because i got invited for the worst day one i actually didn't get an invite for the one that's happening today because i think there's still one happening today I hope I, I get an, an, another invite next time. I hope YouTube doesn't shut me out for ignoring them. And send me another invite next time. But anyway, I try not to dwell too much in my sadness and just, you know, move forward. I already know where the mistake is from. Which is from me not thoroughly checking through my email. And now that I've recognized the mistake, next time I'll not make it again. So, guys, if you're feeling down, if you're feeling sad for, you know, things not going your way, just try not to dwell in it. Because if you dwell in it, you wouldn't find the solution to the problem. Instead, 
you just keep being sad so yeah you are welcome um how do you say that you are welcome to my ted talk until next time Mwah. <laughs> let me check if this mic is actually working so guys the microphone is actually working even though i still have to figure a lot out you know to ensure that it doesn't capture external noise but also i believe that the noise around here is just too much too too much so it's entering my audio but i don't think it's entering into this audio do you get what i mean i don't know if you get what i mean but yeah um the microphone is quite easy to use this is the major setting so if i want two people sitting across each other so if i want the sound to come from here and here it's going to be where it is right now if i want the sound to come from just here then it's the second one if i want the sound to come from all four places then it's the third one then if i want the sound to come from one two three is the last one and this just helps increase and reduce the um gain you know like how far the range is yeah that's pretty much it and the other way this just helps increase the volume and this helps mute it so if i do not want you guys to hear me anymore like this hold on but now we're back to hearing each other so i like the microphone you guys are going to be seeing a lot of her i'm going to name her something because obviously this is a she but yeah i'm going to name her something but for now i don't have a name so yeah but the thing is that you guys are only going to be seeing her when i'm seated and you know because i can't be carrying it up and down it's obviously going to be on a table so i'll use it for interviews i'll use it for collaborations you know just to enhance the audio and i might also get that bluetooth uh, microphone that you can just attach to your cloth that's for like when i'm moving around you know for vlogs and stuff but yeah i like the microphone i really like it so anyway what's the update in my life right now i started working out again so throughout last year i think i worked out sometime last year but like early last year maybe january february so it's been a year since i actually worked out wow in fact more than a year but anyway i started again um i feel like me quitting workout was quite intentional because i wanted to gain weight i wanted to you know add weight and stuff and now i've added and added extra i've added weight in places where i don't want like my belly and my arm but this one is quite already true so like it's something i can't avoid but what i can do is try to tone it down a little bit i'm actually very insecure about this but i'm getting you know i'm getting used to because i love wearing armless you guys would even know if you go and check my pictures you see that i mostly don't like wearing clothes that has and so yeah um so yeah i've been working on my hands are burning here is burning my back is burning but yeah for now i'm still doing home workout i'm using youtube as my guide but starting first of june i'm going to actually register at the gym properly i want to register i fitness because it gives me the chance to use my subscription anywhere like at any location that there is a eye fitness and i'm usually not at home all the time so i get to use my subscription wherever i am well it's quite pricey shall first time i think you have to pay 10k for registration then you have to pay i want to pay for a trainer so we can target like the things that i have a problem with so i have to pay about 40 something k for like total package and stuff for a salary and not like me but anyway my god will do it for me so yeah you know is this summer body we're looking for so yeah anyways that's the update i started working out i haven't even worked out this morning i think i'm going to go and work out 
once i'm done talking to you guys i just wanted to test my microphone on youtube for the first time and also like you know talk to you guys because i haven't spoken to you guys at all in this vlog so if you're if it's your first time seeing my face please don't make it your last ensure to subscribe you know and stick with me and if you're a returning subscriber you know i already love you please don't forget to subscribe please please and please and please don't forget to share let me grow my channel so i'll stop feeling you know less of myself and i'll stop feeling like i'm not i'm doing something wrong you know because i know my content is really great it's really great well i believe you guys will resonate with it very soon Sha. so i'm bothered but i would like not to bother myself too much so yeah um what else that's it for now i'm going to go and work out and i'll see you guys <laughs> decided to head out on this day to go and celebrate Latifah's birthday and we we were supposed to go to um naked art gallery to check out arts and then go to ebony life take nice pictures you know and then eat watch movie you know have fun but as girls will be girls <laughs> we left the house really late we left the house i think almost six o'clock or even almost seven o'clock so 
we were unable to meet up with Nikkei Art Gallery so we just decided to go to Ebony Live. We still took the nice pictures we were meant to take and then we just decided to you know watch a movie and have fun. Um, we ordered food. Every other person liked what they ordered except for me. I ordered for pizza and I hated it. It was really terrible but I enjoyed my night so yeah. I don't know why i like saying so but yeah this is another day of me not talking to you guys i was just doing my thing and i didn't really do much actually i made breakfast after my workout and i just sat down at watched movie or else worked a bit you know just chilled shy it was a really chill day so yeah you guys should enjoy watching me eat my breakfast. <laughs> guys good morning ignore all the mess at the back i'm on my way to work right now and i'm running late so bye bye guys i'm in one of our units now and this is like the sample unit that we are going to be showing off on the day of the commissioning so i'm going to take you guys on like a quick tour around the place it's not going to be so detailed but i'm just going to give you guys like a sneak peek of what to expect when you're buying into brains and armors property if you want to buy any of the properties just contact me and you know i'll plug you we mostly run semi-finished but this is like a mini staging we're just staging the place it's still under finishing we are done with the major construction we're just trying to finish up and prepare for the commissioning but i just wanted to show you guys what we have here right now so enjoy this mini time welcome to one of our fully detached units so this particular unit is a five bedroom 
fully detached and it's for a client already you can always get your own so here's the living room space so we had life made furniture um stage the space with some of their furnitures don't mind how they are looking old-fashioned of course you can you know arrange your space in a more modern and better way but this is just for you to get an idea of what the space is used for so that's the guest room there's really not much now let's go up to the first floor on the ground floor we only have like the living room the guest room and the kitchen the kitchen is not being set up because it's semi-finished so i didn't bother showing you guys but yeah on the first floor we have the mini family lounge this family lounge is not as big as the one on the upper floor and i still don't like the furniture choice but okay so yeah we have like a mini balcony that you can access from the family lounge so the people there can always come out you know sit down and get a feel of the view then we have one of the rooms i really like the furniture choice in this bedroom i love the wardrobe it's really nice and it's actually like depicting what the space is supposed to be used for i love this dresser as well and this is me yeah but yeah this is also the bathroom so all the bathrooms actually come with the fittings so here we have the shower we have the shower glass door and all of that and then we have the wc and then the basin this is another bedroom still on the first floor and you can see this is another way in which you can arrange your room and we have another room actually on the first floor the first floor has the family lounge and then three rooms so here i'm just showing you guys inside of the wardrobe now let's go to the top floor which is the second floor the second floor actually houses the master so you get the master bedroom master lounge and all of that so yeah this is the bigger family lounge i prefer this even though the furniture oh looking kind of old school you know better dolce style but <laughs> anyway so the family lounge opens to a bigger balcony and on this balcony you can get a full view of what the estate looks like which is so beautiful and you can also get a full view of you know the waterfront the environment it's just so damn beautiful like oh my god you guys you are missing out if you don't come and buy this property i'm telling you so yeah from the family lounge we go straight to the library so there's a small library for the master so you know you can keep your books which you can actually use it for anything you want there's also a box room i didn't show you that but yeah this is the master bedroom so so massive you can literally misplace in this space <laughs> so yeah i still don't like the furniture i feel like it's so old school you know but yeah you can arrange your space however you want and the um, the master bedroom also opens out to the terrace so you can have a feel from your room and there is also a walk-in closet so i don't even know why that wardrobe is there but yeah there's a walk-in closet so you can always arrange your because you have more than enough space for that and then we have the bathroom which is also big as well so you can you know put your bath and all of that so guys did you see that oh my god so we had like a furniture company to come and stage you know just put some of their furnitures in the place and make the place look real so of course you could buy your own furniture you can import you can do anything you want in your interior but basically this is just a sneak peek like i said earlier so anyway i hope you guys loved and loved and loved the views and this video i'll try my best to do 
a more detailed real estate video for you guys you know show you guys my life at work and stuff but here yeah, we have come to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoy and love this now i have to get back to work because you know we have to get this ready for commissioning so bye guys